I would say I asked her out. But I, I don't recall the details, honestly. I would say like, he asked me out at 2 a.m. after the hockey team had a great night on George Street and they somehow still won their game the next day. Because <laughs> I remember saying the next day, are we still going on that date? Or was that just George Street talking? But he didn't even. <laughs> I don't remember what the movie was, but I remember she was wearing a leather jacket and jeans, and uh, that was a bit of a different look compared to uh, exam period Kelsey. Yeah, so it was a, I saw her in a different light, I think, and uh, we, we kind of went on from there. Honestly, ever since that point, we've been us and it's been a while. After we graduated from Mount A, I got accepted into dental school, and Scott uh, ended up getting a job in Moncton. We had to have a conversation about, you know, we're going to be doing three and a half years of long distance, and that for us was kind of the big moment, I think, where we had that conversation and realized this is it, Drew, we both see a future forever, so that was a big moment for us in our relationship. I knew it was a, a big commitment, but it didn't seem like that much because I knew we had something special. Scott really supported me more than I would have ever expected a partner or had ever had somebody support me. He came to Halifax pretty much every single weekend. We weren't doing exciting things. We were sitting in the library, studying together. Scott was helping cook meals and just completely supporting me. Seeing that partnership, for me anyway, really made me realize this is the type of partner that I want to have for life. Scott. It's kind of the easiest choice that we've had to make. We're super nervous about the wedding, about showing up on time, who's going to come, who's going to go, but actually getting married. If it was pouring rain, a snowstorm, nobody could show up, it doesn't matter. We're so ready to be married. I'm so confident in our relationship and who he is and who he is becoming, and I feel at home with him wherever we are and I know that whatever we do, wherever we go, as long as the two of us are with each other, that we'll be fine. In times like this and where the world's going upside down and everything's unpredictable, that's the best gift that you can have.
Gotti. From the moment that I met you, our souls began to intertwine. As we got to know each other, we gradually transitioned from classmates to friends and eventually to a couple. You have surpassed all of the expectations that I have for a partner. You are smart, goofy, kind, adventurous, patient, loyal, and a teeny bit stubborn to name a few. It brings me so much comfort to embark on this marriage with you, knowing what an incredible partner and teammate you are. In a world that is unpredictable and constantly changing, you are my lighthouse, my home. You are my voice of reason and the compass that always helps me to find my way. I have loved you for the last nine and a half years, and I always will. Kelsey, it's hard to believe this day has finally come after all the amazing years spent together, after all the moments we have shared. Today I get to marry my best friend. <laughs> Growing up, I would never believe I would meet someone who could continue to challenge me and see the world the way you do. I vow to love you for everything you are, for who you have been, who you are today, and who you may become. Today, you make me the luckiest man in the world. I vow to stay by your side forever and always. Good afternoon, everyone. We gather here today, of course, to witness and celebrate the marriage of Kelsey, Adelia Eatman, and Scott Carlton, Walter Kale. You have come here to share in the formal commitment they make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Kelsey and Scott to start their married life together, surrounded by the people dearest and most important to them. Kelsey and Scott will mark their transition as a couple not only by celebrating the love between themselves, but by also celebrating the love between all of us. Scott, take you, Kelsey. To be my husband. To be my wife. <laughs> my constant friend. Partner in love. I will work to create a bond of honesty. Respect and trust. One that withstands time. And grows along with us. I vow to honor and respect you. For all that you are and will become. <laughs> taking pride in who we are both separately and together I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you and to build a life and to build a life and family with you above all I will give you my love I will give you my love freely and unconditionally for all the days of, for our, all lives. The days of our lives Kelsey and Scott on behalf of all those present by the strength of your own love and by the powers vested in me by the province of New Brunswick, I am honored and happy to pronounce you husband and wife, and you may seal your vows with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mr. and Mrs. Dale.
dentists, engineers, successful business people, just to name a few. Yet I'm the best. I'd like to take a moment to wish my best friend, his beautiful bride, and my favorite couple a lifetime of love, happiness, and health. Scott and Kels, I feel privileged to be a part of your big day and honored to be your best man, Scotty. You've always been an extended brother, and both of you are great friends. And I wish you guys nothing but happiness and success in everything you do in the future. Go figure my first memory with Kelsey would involve homework. <laughs> uh, we were basically inseparable after that. It's still incredible to me that the things we dreamed of doing 20 years ago are actually happening. <laughs> you are everything that I want to be. I'm so proud and honored to be your friend and to stand up here with you today. I was quickly introduced to Scott and gained a new weekend neighbor. Scott was soft-spoken, polite, and showed unlimited patience towards Kelsey. He never questioned the three-hour drive to Halifax, even if that meant spending all weekend in a library or chauffeuring our quirky group of friends to school events. Just seeing Kelsey's face light up when Scott would meet us out, it was clear he was the one. Scotty? <laughs> You are everything I could have wished for Kelsey and more. Your patience, quiet confidence, and giving heart mirror some of the best qualities in Kelsey. The love, support, kindness, and adventure you've given each other is an inspiration to all of us here today. Kelsey is someone who puts others before herself. Her selflessness, generosity, and honesty are admirable qualities that I stand here today knowing she will give everything in marriage to Scott. I know, too, that even in marriage, Kelsey will make the time to sustain her friendships and be there for all of us who call her family and friend. We have had the pleasure of watching Kelsey and Scott's relationship grow throughout these past years and would like to acknowledge today that it is a very special celebration of the beautiful life they share. Kelsey and Scott, our wish for you is that your marriage will be a thing of beauty and joy forever. Always as beautiful as you are today, Kelsey. And may the loveliness of your marriage increase with each passing year. Please raise a glass and join us in toasting to your beautiful life together. I think it's easy for us to be not only alone, but together. It feels like we're kind of at ease when we're both together in the same room. You know, I think the biggest thing is she pushes me to be a better person every day. I really didn't know what I was going to do after university. and. Uh, Probably could have gone down, you know, a million different paths, but seeing her and her work ethic and her passion to make a difference drives me to be a better person every day.